Welcome to October's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is summary ranges. You are given a sorted, unique integer array nums. Return the smallest sorted list of ranges that cover all the numbers in the array exactly. So for instance, if we had this example here, uh, we're going to return 0 to 2, because that covers 0, 1, 2 in all the range, then 4 to 5, and then 7, because 7 doesn't have a range. Um, here with 0, 2, 3, 4, we can see that we're going to return 0, and then 2 to 4, and 6, and then 8 to 9. So how will we solve this? Well, I'll show you how I did it. Um, say that we had this example, right? What we're going to do is store three variables. We're going to store the start, the end, as well as the current pointer. So what I mean by that is we'll start with um, initializing two points. We'll say this is going to be the start, and this will be the current, and we'll both point these at zero, right? Now, what I'll do at first is have end equaling to none. And when we move on to the next one, we're going to increase our current pointer to one. And we'll check, hey, is this number equal to the current point that we're at right now? And it is, right? We can see that one equals the current pointer one. So then we'll update our end range to equal one. Then we'll increase our pointer to two, move on. Uh, we'll see that two is indeed equal to the number right there with current. So n equals two. Uh, and once we see that, hey, no, it doesn't equal, um, the current pointer equaling three it doesn't equal that. So it's no longer in the range. We have our range here, zero to two, and we will output that out. Now, once that's finished, what we have to do is uh, reset our end to equal none and our start to equal the current number that we're at, four. And we can just move on. Um, increase our current pointer to the current pointer right now, four, and then we can just check the rest. All right, so that's how I'm going to do it. Let's see if we can code this out. What we'll do is we'll have the start, the current, and the end. Start is going to equal num zero. Same with the current pointer, nums zero. And the end at first will equal none. Now, what we'll do is say 4n in nums from the very first number, or sorry, the very second number. Uh, we are going to first increase our pointer to equal one, and then we'll ask, hey, is this current number is equal to our current pointer? Because if it is, uh, then all we do is set our end to equal the number that we're on right now. Otherwise, what do we do? Well, it depends, right? It depends on whether we've found a range or whether this number is like on its own. So if not end, then we'll have to just output a string of the current number. Uh, and I should say, oh, I'm sorry, not the current number, the start. Um, and we'll also let's see here. Yeah, that should be it. And otherwise, if we have both, we are going to append a string of the start plus this arrow sign plus the string of the end. Now, one th quick thing to note, once we find that this current number that we're on is not equal to our pointer, we need to reset everything. Otherwise, this current pointer is going to uh, get all wonky. So we'll have to reset start to equal n the current to equal n, and n equal to none. Now, one problem with this algorithm is the very last number. It's not going to, uh, because we put the current pointer up here, it's not going to add this um, last range. So what we'll do is just add that at the end. Um, this isn't really advised, but it's a trick that I used to do quite, a, quite often when I you know, did data engineering. So that should be it. Let's see if this worked. Um, this should return. Oh, I got to first initialize our output off. Duh. And I just realized I need to take care of the empty edge case as well. Okay, so look, there we go. 0, 2, 4 to 5, 7. Looks like it's working. Let's also check if not nums. If there's nothing in there. We'll just return an empty list. And let's go ahead and submit that. And accept it. So time complexity wise, this is O of n, and it's going to use constant space because we only have these three variables. Now, there are better ways to do this. This is but not um, more clever and efficient ways to kind of do the same thing. But, you know, this worked, and I think this was uh, most self-explanatory. So I'm just going to keep it. All right. So thanks for watching my channel.
And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.